Hello and welcome to a new video of our Learn Salesforce series. In today's video, we are going to look at how we can use configuration attributes to dynamically filter product options in Salesforce CPQ. Let's start with the use case. So this is one of the bundle products and let me go back and you can cancel and show you where we got here from. So we are on the CPQ product selection screen and I have chosen uh, this as a product. So this is a bundle product co containing of multiple options. So I've selected that. Once I do that, I'm taken to a screen which will show me all the options available for that bundle. So uh, let's say there's a use case where you have a lot of options, product options available, but you want the options to appear dynamically. So uh, let's say here we have five options for peripherals in this IT professional pack. As you can see over here, we have two types of keyboards. One is the US keyboard and the other is the UK keyboard. Now, what we uh, want basically over here is based on a certain parameters, which in my case is a geographical location, say a country uh, or maybe a region. I want this list to be filtered. So if I select US, I want just US keyboard to appear and not the UK keyboard. And similarly for other options as well. Uh, now this is just an example of a geographical location. Um, you can have different attributes based on how you sell your product. So you can uh, say have any any other attribute apart from a geographical location as well, right? So maybe a product type or a, a shipping, uh, you know, shipping details, type of material, etc. Whatever it is. So let's let's see how we can you know actually go ahead and achieve this and what are the things that we need to do in order to get this done, right? So here are the steps uh, to set up a configuration attribute and use product tools to achieve that dynamic uh, filtering of product options. So the first step involved is to create twin fields on product options and port lines object. Now let me uh, quickly hop over to the product options uh, object that I already have open for you setup and I'm going to create a new big list value a field rather so yeah so the first step is to create a big list field and I'm going to do that now by twin fields what we mean is have fields on the product options and the code line object which are exactly same both in name and the API name as well as in the big list values that we enter for it so I'm going to enter the field label as location and going to enter two values as UK and US and UK and going to save it. Now keep in mind that the API name you have to be very uh, mindful of that and that is something that you would want to keep it consistent throughout and you want to keep it handy as well because we are going to use it uh, in multiple places. Let me just search and show it to you where we are in terms of the location. So here we are location field is created with the API name location underscore underscore C. For the code line, um, I'm just navigating to that tab and keep in mind that we, you are actually at the code line object that is provided by Salesforce CPQ and not at the standard object. That's the code line items. Um, once I go to fields and relationship for the purpose of this particular demo, I have already created the same field over here on code line. So you already have location with the same API name. And if I just open this, you can see the values are the same as well, US and UK. Okay. So with that, our first step in the process is done. So we are done with creating twin fields on product options and code lines. The next step for us is to start configuring or setting up the configuration attribute. So uh, let me move on to the configuration attribute tab that I have open. So it has a tab of its own, uh, you can see by the name of configuration attribute and we are going to create a new attribute. Now this new attribute is going to be corresponding to a product, specific to a product. That's my IT professional path. So I'm going to click on next and I'm going to choose a product. But before we do that, we actually want a configuration attribute. Now this is, this is actually the attribute that is going to be present on, on this screen. So here is where the option to select a location from a drop down US or UK is going to appear. For that to happen, what we need to do is first define a target field. So we have the unit price, discount uh, amount, and percentage. 
we need to define a target field which is our case going to be location so let me just go to the the object manager and add a new field on this uh, target field or configuration attribute object okay and here it is going to be the api name so as i said we have to keep the api name handy with us so it's going to be location underscore underscore c those are the actual fields that i had created i'm going to add it to both the report types just to keep it safe and save it once this is done we can see the field has been added over here location underscore underscore c let me just quickly refresh this and then we can add, go ahead and add the configuration attribute. There we go. So clicking on next. Okay, let's search our product. There it is. ID information pack. Attribute name. Location. ID pro pack. Target field. You have location underscore C appearing now. Now I want it to be a required value so that every time a user chooses it, it uh, basically it becomes mandatory uh, for the user to choose it. Now this feature over here is basically if you want uh, the option of uh, the configuration attribute to only appear for a particular feature which is say peripheral. So instead of appearing at a product level over here, it, the option should appear at uh, you know the, the feature level so you can definitely go and add a feature over here I'll just leave it blank for now and I'm going to save it so if you want this configuration attribute to be applied for product options as well you can go ahead and mark this checkbox so let me save it so this configuration attribute has been saved let's um, go and see how this looks on the screen so just going to click on cancel and come out of the screen first okay now I'm going to click on edit lines again so that just to be on the safe side let me refresh this page edit lines and products There you go. So now your location field is now visible on this ID professional pack and you have two values US and UK. Now if I select US or UK, you, you don't see anything happening to these options. That's because we've not set up any rules corresponding to it. So let's uh, let's go and look how we can you know uh, set up the rules which is nothing but our third step. So we need to create a product rule and there are going to be three parts to it. Uh, which which we need to do is to set up a configuration rule and error condition and the actions to be performed based on that. So let's go uh, first to the to the product rules. So I have this tab again open for me over here. So we're going to click on next and going to create a new product rule. So this is going to say um, US products for US location so let's say if i want to create a rule um, which displays that's us products for us locations that's going to be my product only the type is going to be a selection type the scope is going to be on product as we saw that we're going to do everything on product i'm just going to mark this active i need all conditions to prevent the evaluation events to be always i'm going to save it once i save it the next thing what i want to do is Go and add in a configuration rule that is basically link this con uh, this product rule to a product. So again, I'm going to link it to IT professional pack. I'm going to make it active, and that's all that I need over here on the screen. So we are done with the configuration rule. So as you can see, we are done with the first sub step of this one. So we're done with the configuration rule. The next thing that we're going to do is set up the error condition. Now. Again, I'll click on new and once we go into the error condition, 
you'll see two fields over here. One is the tested object and the other is the tested key. Now the tested object basically is, in our case, the configuration attribute that we are defining on the product. But if I scroll or click on this drop down, we don't see the location underscore C field that we require over here. So again, as we did with the earlier object, we are going to add location underscore underscore C as a big list value in this error condition object and make it dependent on um, configuration attribute big list value as well. So I've just got it open over here. So I'm going to open tested field. I'm going to add a new value to it. Once this is done, I'm going to do the dependency and make sure we have it dependent on configuration attribute value as well so yeah double tap here and save okay so let's refresh this one let's see if this just clicking new button helps okay we need to refresh the page There you go, you have the location for now. I'm uh, going to search on the product rule. So this is US products with US location. That's that's my rule name. Now what I'm going to do is uh, that's basically the error condition is when you want this rule to be fired. So uh, the operator is going to be equal value is going to be US. So whenever the location value is US, I want this rule to be fired. So I'm going to click on save. So we are done with the configuration rule and the error condition. The last thing that is needed for us to do is click on actions and define actions that need to be performed over here. So the action for us, uh, mostly they are going to be either uh, hide and remove or show and add. So we basically want to dynamically show or uh, be able to add the product. So we, we are going to hide and remove or show the uh, products that we want to. So first let's click on show and the product that I'm going to select is in this particular case going to be my Apple US keyboard. We copy the name over here and search for it. Okay, so this is the product I'm going to show and click on save and new. Now what else do I want to do? I want to hide and remove the other product so just click over here apple uk keyboard i want to hide and remove from the list whenever uh, the location chosen is us so i'm going to save this now what you can do is you can add multiple actions over here you can uh, uh you know define a show option for all the other product options that you have or hide or remove multiple uh, products from uh, using this product rule itself. So for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to limit it to two options. The other product options, uh, mind you, are going to be going to remain unaffected. So let me just cancel this and refresh the screen once. Let me do that anyway. So once it does, we're going to click on add products. Go and select the same bundle product that we had. So I did pro pack, click on select. Now you can see over here we have the Apple US keyboard and the Apple UK keyboard both being displayed over here. As soon as I click on and select the location as US, it will take some time to load and the Apple UK keyboard just disappeared and you only have the Apple US keyboard being showcased over here. So this is how you can basically um, make the product options appear dynamically based on 
the value that you select on your configuration attribute that you have defined, be it on location or any, any other parameter. One thing that you may need to do over here is define a similar product tool for UK as well. So, so all in all, this is uh, how you can go about configuring uh, or setting up a configuration attribute and product tools in Salesforce CPQ. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, do let us know your thoughts or queries in the comment section below.